It was a chilly autumn's eve on December 1st, 1955, when Rosa Parks boarded a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. That day, the civil rights movement was born. as a department store seamstress, Rosa Parks took a seat in the back section reserved for colored people. As the bus traveled along its route, the rows began to fill up until there were no more seats available. At this point, a white man got on board and was left standing on the crowded bus. The bus driver stood up and ordered the people in the first colored rows to release their seats. All did except Rosa Parks, who did not move. The driver asked if she was going to stand or be arrested. Rosa felt determination cover her body like a quilt on a winter night. She looked out the window and quietly said, You may do that. The bus remained still as the police were summoned. The sound of people's complaints began to fill the air and several blacks left the bus. The police arrived and asked her why she did not stand up. She responded, Why are you always pushing us around? With those defiant words, the civil rights movement was born. I was arrested on December 1st, 1955 for refusing to stand up on the orders of the bus driver after the uh, white seats had been occupied in the front. And of course I was not in the front of the bus as many people and many people have written and spoken that I was, that I got on the bus and took a front seat, but I did not. I took a seat that was just back of where the white people were sitting and in fact the last seat and the man was next to the window and I took an aisle seat and there were two women across and we went on undisturbed until uh, about the second or third stop when some white people boarded the bus and left one man standing and when the driver noticed him standing he told us to stand up and let him have those seats. He referred to them as front seats. And when uh, the other uh, three people, after some hesitancy, uh, stood up, he wanted to know if I was going to stand. I told him I was not, and he told me he would have me arrested. And I told him he may do that. For a number of years, the Negro passengers on the city bus lines of Montgomery have been humiliated, intimidated, and faced threats on this bus line. Just the other day, uh, one of the fine citizens of our community, Mrs. Rosa Parks, was arrested because she refused to give up her seat for a white passenger. Mrs. Rosa Parks was arrested and taken down to jail, taken from the bus, just because she refused to give up her seat. At present, we are in the midst of a protest, the Negro citizens of Montgomery, representing some 44% uh, of the population. 90% at least of the regular Negro bus passengers are staying off the buses, and we plan to continue until something is done.
although many have been arrested, we continue, listen to me, we continue our protest, for none of our actions have been found illegal. The carpool and all we have done in this struggle continues. 